Welcome to Watch Chat, where we chat about watches and other facts of life. Or the Mars PK just refurbished one of their outlets here, and I can't wait to check them out. A big shout out to Rob Report for inviting me to this private event. Rob Report is one of the leading media and information service provider that reports on the luxury market. I get my usual dose on the luxury market, especially on watches from these guys. Do check them out if you can. Odimas Vigay's newly refurbished outlet is looking pretty awesome. It's brightly littered with enough color temperature LED lights that will surely sparkle those diamonds or polished edges on the AP. Odimas Pigues has arranged this private event to showcase some of this year's novelty and I can't wait to get my hands on them. This here are three of the new Royal Oak Offshore Diver that is powered by the new Caliber 4308 which has 60 hours of power reserve, 32 joules and 28,800 VPH. It's 42mm in diameter, 14.2mm thick and has a 300m of water resistance. These three designs here have their dials in blue, grey and navy green. The interchangeable strap here is something new. The adjustable buttons are directly integrated into the case studs, therefore making the watch case design unaltered. Then there is that easy removal of the buckle with a push and a slide. Pretty cool, huh? The rotor instead of it being gold is now ceramic. The hands are now shorter and the indices are now wider. For the navy green model, there are extra rose gold added to the logo, hands, indices and crown. The date change on this model is okay, as the date changes with a quick snap at 11.58pm. The next watch that I managed to get my hands on is the Royal Oak Frosted White Gold Flyback Chronograph with a grey dial that is limited to 200 pieces worldwide. It is powered by the Automatic Calibre 4401 that has 70 hours of power reserve, 40 joules and 28,800 VPH. This here is the Rose Gold with a Blue Dial and Rose Gold Sub Dials version. It's 41mm in diameter and 12.4mm thick with a 50m of water resistance. The frosted effect definitely adds a lot of bling to it, like small little diamonds. The frosted effect applies to the front of the watch which means the bezel, front of the case, lux and bracelet that are all machine hammered to create this effect. Whilst the frosted effect definitely makes the watch looks pretty attractive, I find the entire wearing experience to be a little rough. Sandpaper rough. The watch with the bracelet is also very heavy. I mean really really heavy. The date change on this is very good. The turn on the crown is buttery smooth and the date changes exactly at 12 midnight. Last but not least, my favourite AP by far is the new Code 1159 chronograph that I have here. This here has the smoke grey dial and the black sub dial version. What's new with this code 1159 is the use of a black ceramic in a shape of an octagon on the case, which blends in very well with this rose gold. It has a 41mm in diameter, 12.6mm thickness and a 30m of water resistance.
What's new here is also the strap that is made out of Kevlar, carbon fiber, which is the same material you use in a bulletproof vest. Underneath it is black rubber that helps to protect the strap from sweats. This here has a flyback chronograph and the click on the pushers are as good as it can get. It's even better than the Royal Oak chronograph due to the design of the pushers. This is also powered by the Caliber 4401 like the earlier Royal Oak Chrono. Like the earlier Royal Oak Chronograph, the turn on the crown is also buttery smooth and the date changes exactly at 12 midnight. This novelty also comes in white gold. The wearing experience of this watch is really really good. Because of the ceramic case, it feels very light. What's really unique about the Code 1159 is the use of a double curved sapphire crystal with the internal crystal shaped like a dome and the external one is vertically curved giving it depth and a real optic experience. Don't get me wrong, the Royal Oak is nice. It's one of Jero Genta's masterpiece after all, but the Code 1159, it's the future. So which of this novelty do you like best? Let us know in the comments below and tell us why. Anyway, if you like this kind of video, please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification icon to support me and I'll really appreciate it and promise to make more videos like this. Until the next one, thank you for watching.